dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ in the annual liturgical cycle of the church we have two long seasons they are the season of lent and season of easter if the lenten season is a season of ascetical preparation then easter is an experiential actualization of being born in christ basically these seasons call us to become a new persons in christ to experience the power and fruits of christ's glorious resurrection as we begin this long season of lent in all the three liturgical cycles we have the same readings on the first day of the season of lent the ash wednesday in the first reading prophet joel announces god's appeal to the people come back to the lord let us all fast and pray in the gospel jesus tells us how we ought to go about praying fasting and alms giving in fact these are part of jewish spirituality and these three elements constitute the lenten triangle which indicates their mutual interrelated character first and foremost prayer what is prayer prayer is a fundamental openness to god real prayer is a search for the depth and our union with the divine as the psalmist says deep calls to deep prayer is the experience of the divine within ourselves as we sit in silence we learn to listen to our hearts as well as to the promptings of the divine spirit instead of condemning ourselves we try to understand who we really are real prayer makes us deep sensitive and warm secondly this fasting what is fasting yes during lenten season yes we abstain from meat we abstain from some food and drink and pleasure but dear friends fasting means that we discipline ourselves we need to discipline ourselves which is very important without a sustained commitment to the productive work we are not a really a christian we are happy doing minimum that is required of us in our role and of our survival pope francis in his apostolic exaltation gaudete et exultate he beautifully reflects on this aspect and he also invites us to reflect on hedonism and consumerism which can prove our downfall for when we are obsessed with our own pleasure we will find it hard to feel and show any real concern for those in need and he says when we allow ourselves to be caught up in a superficial information instant communication and virtual reality we can waste our precious time and become indifferent to the suffering flesh of our brothers and sisters and coming to the third element in the lenten triangle it is alms giving it is a symbolic of that concern for the needy which defines the true disciple of jesus in the gospel we see a beautiful example of a poor widow who gave not out of her surplus but she gave out of her poverty she gave everything that she had for her livelihood christian alms giving is an incarnational mystery we empty ourselves to share in the pain of the needy suffering and under privileged therefore dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ i would like to place some of the lenten challenges before you asking yourself these questions first and foremost we need to ask how we can make our participation in the family prayers more warm meaningful involved and satisfying 
how we can make our personal prayers really personal, strong and deep in our rapport, familiarity and intimacy with God. Human relationship has become a greatest challenge today for the modern man. We easily succumb and surrender to the allurements and attractions of external situations. How could we spend ourselves for others in order to grow in cordiality, in joyful self-giving and self-emptying and self-effacing relationship with the members of the family? So these are few things where we need to ask ourselves, reflect and realize through our prayer, through fasting and through almsgiving. Dear friends, we need the special grace of God to make this season of Lent a spiritual revival and renewal. Therefore, let us all pause for a moment and pray for the special grace from the Lord. Let us pray. Loving God, during the sacred season of Lent, bring us closer to you. Prepare a place in home and hearts for silence and solitude so that we may rediscover the grace of a prayerful life. Lord, help us to fast from those things that threaten the well-being of the body and soul and remind us of the grace of simplicity. Enlarge our hearts so that we may give to those in need and so doing rediscover the grace of gratitude and generosity. May this season be a grace-filled season, a time to rekindle our love and faith in you. Amen. Thank you.